guys, Rich here from the RC Network, and this is gonna be my full review of the Team Associated RC8B3E. Now, of course, this is Team Associated's newest 1 8 scale four-wheel drive e-buggy, so this is electric. Now, with this buggy, I was really, really impressed with the overall build quality of this. This was a complete uh, redone buggy from the old RC 8.2e, if you guys remember that thing. And it, it really seems like Team Associated got serious about their eighth skill rigs. And with this, they also kind of came out with the, um, the, the Truggy version of this, and it just, they've improved and improved and improved over that old 8.2, so nothing like that. Now with this, this is a full kit version. You do get some really cool items right out of the box. I mean, you get all aluminum shocks, aluminum caps. You get all these little bits and pieces of blue that you're seeing here, that factory team blue. You do get um, full, uh, machined aluminum shock towers, although I have already switched these out to the carbon fiber version. Um, just lots of bells and whistles with this kit version. Uh, carbon fiber top plate, all points of contact with any kind of hinge pin is done to an aluminum point. So aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. I mean, just the, the list goes on and on and on with this new B3E. Now, I got a chance to run this at an open outdoor track and had a little mishap with uh, my radio system and that was cut short. Well, since then, I've actually ran this um, four times now at an indoor clay track. And I've got to say, I didn't intend on running it on, a, on an indoor track only because I had this set up for some big, large jumps like that outdoor track. And I wasn't expecting this to do too well, and it just really did tremendous. I mean, this thing just lands, jumps, corners, tons of steering, and, and this is the box stock setup. I have changed nothing on this buggy except for some right height and little tweaks here and there, but I mean, this is completely stock as far as the setup. It just handles great. I had a blast driving this thing. I mean, on 4S power, the 2100 kV motor from Reedy was just a little bit much, uh, but I toned it down on the the tooth of the pinion just to give me a little bit more torque on some of the jumps, and it just was amazing to run. So in this review, I'm gonna be going over some of the positives, the negatives, show you up close kind of what I've changed on it just since I've uh, originally built it, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, so first off, we're gonna go over a couple of the negatives that I've seen on this kit so far. And keep in mind, I mean, I, I like to start off with some negatives and with a lot of positives because honestly, that is where this buggy really excels in all the positives. So uh, the first negative that I experienced was the actual servo horn. It came with a plastic uh, servo horn that actually broke after about the first lap on an outdoor track. So that wasn't too impressive. I ended up switching out just to a, a stock 25 tooth um, aluminum horn I had. It was, I think it's like, again, an off the horn. But I know that um, the Team Associate actually released a factory team version of it that I'm kind of waiting to pick up. So uh, that was kind of a bummer. I know that there's you know some cost effectiveness on whether or not they're gonna include a, a 23 tooth horn or a 25 tooth, but pretty much the standard these days is 25 tooth, so I, I think they'd be pretty safe. The Reedy servos also run 25 tooth, so you know, throwing that extra $8 horn would be nice. Um, the next thing that I've noticed is just the wear and tear on this buggy so far. On the underside right here, you know, all that nice blue anodization is just completely rubbing off um, right here on the, the front hinge pin holders. A little bit of wear here up on the front skid, but then on the rear, I, I am starting to get quite a bit of wear. Now keep in mind, I've ran this about four different times, maybe about 10 battery packs, maybe 12 at the most. So quite a bit of wear here uh, on the rear. So I know a, a chassis protector would definitely help and maybe a rear skid, but you know, nonetheless, the wear is there. Now, as far as the positives, I mean, that was all the negatives I can think of. And I sat here for a good, you know, 15, 20 minutes trying to think of things that was bad with this buggy. And there just really isn't a lot. Now, the positives, 
the biggest positive about this this buggy and, and if you watched my outdoor running video I had mentioned on the video and I kind of cut it out with some music that it just was so much more stable than the techno buggy I was running right prior to that and what it has to do with is how wide this thing is and this is almost a good eight inches wide in the center like at least two three inches wider than the techno so stability wise when you're going down the straights when you're jumping this thing is just super stable in flight durability i've not broken anything on this except for that servo horn everything has uh, is pretty much stock no bends no breakages no no tears and <laughs> nothing this buggy is just built to last um global experience i mean i have you know huge respect for team associated they have a huge network of people driving this buggy uh, running this buggy the parts support is just awesome you have people like avid and shell and everyone else making parts for it now which is pretty cool so um you know great global experience next thing is here the shocks beautiful shocks these things are super super smooth i mean these are still the stock setup I have, like I said, about 10, 12 battery packs through. They're due for a rebuild, but they're still super smooth. Next thing here, what I didn't think I would like was the pillow ball suspension. Uh, you know, this is obviously a, a different uh, suspension than what Team Associated is used to. And I mean, it's just really, really performed. I had no issues with the, uh, the PBS is what I'm calling it um, at all. So really nice, um, you know, transition to their age scale setup. Now, the next thing that you may not know is that Team Associated has kind of, you know, went to some experts in the industry. Of course, Richard Saxton's over there at Team Associated, and also Dino Dan is now over there, and they're contributing to the popularity and the success of this buggy, which is pretty cool. So, um, overall, uh, buggy performed well. Um, I, I switched out the original wing. I, this is the original stock one. I was running a trifecta wing, but... I'm not that clean of a driver to run that trifecta wing, so uh, that thing has come off now. The body's done pretty well. I've had some body uh, you know, paint rubbing off of it and whatnot, but no tears. The Proline body has done absolutely great. So as far as upgrades that I have done on this, I did add the Avid um, carbon shock towers. I know Team Associated also came out with some, but it was actually after uh, the Avid one, so didn't even know about it until I had already picked these up. I did opt for the Lunsford Titanium Pillow Balls, so these uh, saved quite a bit of weight overall, and you know, instead of the steel stock ones, these are now the Titanium versions. Other than that, I just opted for a couple of tidbits on here like I have these little aluminum wing mounts I have these kind of lightened uh, wheel nuts from Avid as well it didn't take off too much weight but hey they're flashy and I like the way they look so that is my full review of this thing if you're on the fence about buying this RC8 B3E get off the fence and go buy this thing this is definitely a must buy if you're in the market for an 8 scale buggy it is by far my favorite at this point, and I've got to say, Team Associated, good job. Well, guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this review or the RC8 B3E, please feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.